What's up guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Backtrack 5 on a virtual machine and for this tutorial I'm running VMware Fusion 5 on a MacBook Pro with Mac OS X 10.7. So the first thing that we need to do is download the latest release of Backtrack 5 and to do that we need to open up a web browser. I'm going to open Safari and in the URL bar you need to type www.backtrack-linux.org forward slash downloads press enter scroll down and click download and the download menu will appear now under release select the drop down menu and select backtrack 5 r3 if you want to select an earlier version you can go ahead and do so now under window manager you can select genome or kde it really depends on whether or not you want the ability to customize backtracks graphical user interface the genome version doesn't give you many options for customization, whereas the KDE version will enable you to fully customize your user interface with things like window decorations, widgets, themes, login screens, and things of that nature. So I'm going to select KDE. Now under architecture, your choice of architecture will depend on your system's processor. If your system has a 64-bit processor, select 64. And if your system has a 32-bit processor, select 32. Now, if you're not sure what kind of processor your system has, go ahead and select 32 to err on the side of caution. I'm going to select 64 because I am using a fairly new MacBook Pro. Now, under image type, select ISO. And under download type, select 3100. All right, now that we've made all of those selections, we're going to click the button that says click to download. And this will begin the download and it's going to download in our Safari download manager and you can see here my download has begun this process is going to take a little while because you can see the file is over three gigabytes and by downloading the file directly with your browser it's going to place it in your downloads folder alright now that our download is finished we can go ahead and close Safari and what we're going to do now is we're going to install Backtrack 5 on a virtual machine so I'm going to go up to my spotlight search and I'm going to type VMware and then I'm going to select VMware Fusion from the drop down menu. That will open up VMware Fusion. Now in the virtual machine library you need to select the add button and in the drop down menu select new. Now in the virtual machine assistant go ahead and select continue without disk. Then make sure you check use operating system installation disk or image then select the drop down menu and select choose a disk or disk image and here you need to navigate to your downloads folder and then select the BT5 ISO file and click open now go ahead and click continue for operating system make sure you select Linux now for version if you downloaded the 64-bit version of Backtrack you'll want to select Ubuntu 64-bit if you downloaded the 32-bit version, you'll simply select Ubuntu. I'm going to select the 64-bit version. Once you've done that, select Continue. Here is going to give you an overview of your virtual machine. You can go ahead and click Finish. Here you can name your virtual machine anything you want. I prefer to use the following format, BT5 space R3 space KDE space 64-bit then select save now it's going to begin booting backtrack 5 in a virtual machine window alright at the boot menu select backtrack text default boot text mode and press enter and we'll wait till it prompts us to enter a command okay now that it's prompted us to enter a command we're going to type start x and then press enter and that's going to start Backtrack's graphical user interface. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to increase the size of my screen. All right, now that Backtrack is finished booting, we need to click the Install Backtrack icon, and this will start the installation wizard. Now go ahead and select your language and click Forward. And it's going to automatically configure your clock if you want to change your time zone go ahead and do so and then click forward alright you can go ahead and select your keyboard layout I recommend using the suggested option once you've done that click forward now make sure you select erase and use the entire disk you don't need to worry about your hard disk being erased because this is being installed in a virtual machine 
Once you've done that, click forward. Now it's going to give you an overview of your backtrack configurations. If everything looks good, go ahead and click install and that's going to begin the installation process. Now the installation process can take a while so you're going to need to be patient. Also, it's going to go really fast at first and then it's going to slow down. Don't worry, it's installing. Just be patient. So that's it. Once the installation is finished, Backtrack will be installed on your virtual machine permanently and you can delete the ISO file that you downloaded. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful.